Gathering water data is essential in the modern world. It allows us to monitor the effects of climate change, ensure that drinking water reservoirs are safe and immediately respond to environmental accidents. With miniature robots, it is possible to drastically reduce the resources and manpower required for important environmental monitoring and allow rapid, targeted responses to accidents. Our flying robot, the Aquatic Micro Air Vehicle, or just Aquamav, is able to dive directly into the water from flight and return to the air to deliver samples for analysis. It is inspired by the many species of plunge diving seabirds which catch prey by diving through the water at high speeds and allows small robots to enter the water with minimal sensing and control complexity. With its 592mm wingspan and just weighing 200 grams, it flies at 10 meters per second and has sufficient power to return a water sample from of up to 5 kilometers. It is constructed from lightweight carbon fiber and Kevlar composites, with all electronics contained in waterproof fuselage. The miniature aircraft uses folding wings which permits it to sustain the hydrodynamic loads encountered in the dive. The Aquamav's main wing is split into three parts, which can be swept backward when the robot is above a target and make the vehicle enter a passive dive. The Aquamav has slightly positive buoyancy. This means it will float by itself to the surface after a dive, ready to retake flight. To escape the water, the robot then uses a powerful water jet thruster which forms the keel of the robot. The robot can escape the water in much the same way as the jet propelled launch of oceanic flying squid. The squid are capable of short propelled flights through the air. The thruster spits out water at high speeds using an onboard tank of carbon dioxide for power and it produces thrust continuously as the vehicle breaks through the water surface. During a dive, the Aquamav's hollow tail fills with water, which it then forces through a nozzle at high speeds by the release of a gas at the pressure of 60 bar. The gas release is controlled by passing current through the wall of the pressure vessel, actuating a nitinol shaped memory alloy wire. This valve system can control the release of gas at up to 90 bar of pressure. Using conductivity sensors in its nose, the Aquamav can sense when it reaches the water surface, which triggers the thruster automatically. The burst of thrust produced is sufficient to accelerate the vehicle from beneath the water to speeds in excess of 12 meters per second in less than one second. By producing thrust continuously in both air and water, the jet allows the Aquamav to accelerate in air where drag is greatly reduced. The thruster can propel the vehicle to flight speed from a range of initial orientations. This means that the vehicle can launch in spite of perturbations from surface waves. We are also exploring higher powered explosive thrusters, which will allow the Aquamav to perform as many as 20 dives and launches in a single mission. Finally, expanded sensor payloads for the vehicle are under development. This will allow the Aquamav to function as a self-recovering monitoring buoy. In short, it will be able to sense many different kinds of contamination in water and provide crucial water data to ecologists, surveyors and water authorities.